wrestlers sprang to the aid of Bret Hart when a fan jumped a barrier and wrapped his arms around the 61-year-old as he delivered a WWE Hall of Fame speech in the ring in New York on Saturday night, Sunday NZT. Hart was being inducted into the Hall a second time, this time for his role with the tag team The Hart Foundation along with the late Jim, The Anvil, Nod Hart at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. He was not injured in the incident, which occurred as he stood on the podium alongside Nide Hart's daughter Natalia, also a wrestler. Read more, asterisk WWE star Dakota Kai sets bar for Kiwi women asterisk former WWE star Jim, The Anvil, Nide Hart dies asterisk no, 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 wrestling history's greatest failure asterisk Lords of the Ring, inside NZ's pro wrestling scene Zachary Madsen, identified by authorities as a 26-year-old from Lincoln, Nebraska, was quickly removed from the ring and arrested. He faces two counts of third-degree assault, criminal trespass and one other misdemeanor charge, according to CNN, WWE legend Bret Hart is tackled by a fan while making a Hall of Fame induction speech in New York. Hart was able to finish his speech at the event, which occurred on the eve of WrestleMania at MetLife Stadium. Those who came to the rescue, CNN reported, included Xavier Woods, Tyson Kidd, Drake Maverick, Curtis Axel and Travis Brown, the UFC heavyweight who is married to Ronda Rousey. I couldn't believe that the security had missed him in the first place, and the next thing you know there was Shane McMahon and Travis Brown on top of him the crowd was going crazy booing, Alan Fisher, a spectator, told the Associated Press. Everyone was cheering when one of the wrestlers punched him, Davy Boy Smith Jr., Hart's nephew and the son of late wrestler the British Bulldog, tweeted that, fan, was lucky I was being held back. As Ricks and Gracie said, if we fight for money, I'll stop hitting you when you ask me to. If we fight for honor, I'll stop hitting you when I feel like it, Natalia thanked those who intervened, tweeting, Brett is a cancer survivor, a stroke survivor and one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. He didn't deserve to be attacked or have his moment or my dad's diminished. We got it back on track, an over-exuberant fan surpassed our security at ringside and made his way briefly into the ring, WWE said in a statement. The individual has been turned over to the proper authorities, stuff.